PCBs used to be a miracle substance in the building industry, but nowadays they are one of the world's most dangerous pollutants. Find out what you need to know about PCBs. PCBs is an abbreviation and stands for polychlorinated biphenyls. They are a subset of the synthetically or artificially produced organic chemicals called chlorinated aromatic hydrocarbons. In addition, PCB is one of the original 12 POPs, which stands for Persistent Organic Pollutants. PCBs were first synthesized in 1866. In 1929, the American Swan Chemical Company started the industrial production of PCBs. By 1935, the company had been taken over by the group Monsanto, which is nowadays known for its use of the dioxin containing defoliant called Agent Orange during the Vietnam War, as well as for the controversial herbicide glyphosate. In 2018, Monsanto was taken over by the German group Bayer, which used to be the second biggest producer of PCBs until its production was stopped in 1983. Around 1.5 million tons of PCBs had been produced worldwide before its usage and production was prohibited by the Stockholm Convention in 2004. The Convention also regulates the elimination of PCB-containing equipment and liquids until 2028. Only very few countries, including the USA and Italy, haven't signed the Convention. North Korea even produces PCBs nowadays, however only for its own use. A total of 209 PCB congeners are possible, but only approximately 70 of these compounds have been found in commercial mixtures. Six lead congeners are used for chemical analysis. Some of the chemical properties of PCBs are they are hardly inflammable, have a very small electrical conductivity, which makes them an excellent insulator, a strong plasticizer force, for example in sealing compounds, as well as a strong aging resistance because of their chemical resistance to light, acids and alkalis. If PCBs are exposed to extreme heat or fire, highly toxic furans and dioxins may be formed and released. Because of its beneficial characteristics, PCBs were used in closed as well as open applications. In closed applications, PCBs were mostly used as cooling agents in transformers, capacitors and small capacitors. But around one-fourth of the worldwide PCB production was used in open applications, for example in caulking and sealing materials, anti-corrosion coatings and paints, to enhance the properties of the applications. PCBs accumulate in soil and sediments and remobilize in the environment. Microorganisms like plankton absorb PCBs and as soon as they are eaten by bigger animals, the process restarts. This is how PCBs accumulate from animal to animal until they reach the top of the food chain. As a result, predators or humans often show a far higher contamination than plants or water. PCBs are omnipresent and because of their remobilization they can be found in almost all areas of life. PCBs can damage the liver, the brain and the kidneys. As PCBs are endocrine disruptors, there is an alarmingly high risk of PCBs in breast milk, which could harm the unborn child. In 2013, PCBs were classified as carcinogen to humans by the International Agency for Cancer Research. In many buildings, for example in residential and public buildings built or renovated during the 60s and 70s, as well as in industrial facilities and power plants, Open applications of PCBs were widely used in sealing and caulking material, in paints, anti-corrosion coatings, etc. According to the Stockholm Convention, efforts must now be made to identify PCB-containing devices in closed applications in order to remove them from use by 2025 and eliminate them in an environmentally sound manner by 2028. As for open applications, there unfortunately is no deadline even though those applications have an even more direct impact on human health and the environment.